ओम नमो भगवते वसुते ओम नमो भगवते वसुदे ओम नमो भगवते वसुदे ओके I don't know can I share a screen with you I can try mm -mm. Wait, what do you say Okay, I'll read one verse to you. You'll have to hear it. I don't have the... He's not giving me the right to share the screen with you. I'll just read the verse. Savai pum sam, savai pum sam paro dharmo. Savai pum sam paro dharmo. Yato bhakti radhok sajay. Yato bhakti radhok sajay. आहैतकीया प्रतियता आहैतकीया प्रतियता ययात्मा सुप्रसिद्धति ययात्मा सुप्रसिद्धति सवाय पुम्सं परो धर्मो सवाय पुम्सं परो धर्मो यतो बक्तिरधोक सजे Ahaitakiya pratihata. Ahaitukiya pratihata. Yayatma suprasidati. Yayatma suprasidati. Savai pum samparo dharmo. Savai pum samparo dharmo. Yato bhakti radhok saje. आहाई तकिया प्रतिहता आहाई तुकिया प्रतिहता यायात्मा सुप्रसिद्धती यायात्मा सुप्रसिद्धती राहुल गंगा प्रभु अब यू गट द बुक देर श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो वन चैप्टर टू टेक्स्ट नंबर सिक्स यस मारा तू आर रेडी Okay, you can read the translation. Okay. Have you got in Hindi or what? Sampurna. Yeah. In Hindi, Maharaj. Yeah, yeah good. Sampurna. Okay. Sampurna manota ke liye param priti dharma wahi hai, jiske dwara saare manusya dipya bhagwan ki prema bhakti prapta kar sake. Aisi bhakti akaran tata akhanda honi chahiye. जिससे आत्मा पूर्ण रूप से कुष्ट हो सके तात्पर्य इस कथन के द्वारा श्री सुत गोस्वामी नवी सारणीय के ऋषियों के प्रथम प्रश्न का उत्तर देते हैं ऋषियों ने सुत जी से अनुरोध किया था कि वे समस्त प्रमाणिक शास्त्रों का जिससे पतित आत्माएं जिससे पतित आत्माएं सरलता से ग्रहण कर सके वेदों में मनुष्य के लिए दो प्रकार की वृत्तियां बताई गई है एक प्रवृत्ति मार्ग या इंद्रिय भोग का मार्ग कहलाती है और दूसरी निवृत्ति मार्ग या त्याग का मार्ग कहलाती है भोग का मार्ग निकृष्ट है और परम कारण के हेतु निवृत्ति का मार्ग श्रेष्ठ है जीव का यही जीवन भौतिक जीवन एक प्रकार से वास्तविक जीवन की रूपण अवस्था है वास्तविक जीवन तो ब्रह्मभूत अवस्था अर्थात आध्यात्मिक अस्तित्व है 
जहां जीवन सनातन आनंदमय तथा ज्ञान से परिपूर्ण है भौतिक जीवन नाशवान मोहपूर्ण तथा कष्टमय है इसमें सुख तो है ही नहीं पर कष्ट उसे छुटा पाने का व्यर्थ प्रयास मात्र है और कष्टों का क्षणिक नाश मिथ्या की सुख कहलाता है अतः बड़े बढ़ते जाने वाले भौतिक भोग का मार्ग नाशवान है कष्टमय तथा मोहपूर्ण होने के कारण निकृष्ट है किंतु भगवत भक्ति श्रेष्ठ धर्म कहलाती है क्योंकि वह मनुष्य को सनातन आनंदमय एवं ज्ञान से परिपूर्ण जीवन की ओर अग्रसर करती है जब इन इसमें निकृष्ट गुण मिल जाते हैं तो यह कभी कभी दूषित हो जाती है उदाहरणार्थ भौतिक लाभ के लिए की गई भक्तिमय सेवा प्रगतिशील प्रगतिशील ओके अतः मनुष्य को यस ओके हम ज्ञान तिमरंजस्याघ्यनंजनाशलाखाया चक्षुर्मिलस्म श्री गुरव नम वंचकौपातरुभ्य कृप सिंधुब पति पभानेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमति भक्ति वेदाता स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे घोरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषन्यवादी पश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री हतकधाधार श्रीवासदे गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे We were reading Srimad Bhagavatam here in Mayapur, and we got to the tenth canto, chapter twelve. We were hearing Lord Brahma's about how Lord Brahma stole the cows and calves, and that was as far as Prabhupada translated. Prabhupada's translation doesn't go any further than the tenth canto, twelfth chapter. So after we got to there, then we went back to the first canto again. Rahul Gandhi, you have to translate. Are you hearing me? Okay. Yeah. Yes. My mother is coming. You are not there. Tomorrow, when you come, today, we are going to read the Bhagavad Gita, 10th Maskanda, 12th Adhyay, Saman. So we were reading the first chapter and this morning, or yesterday morning, we did the verse where Sutta Goswami asked that question. Not Sutta Goswami, Shonaka. Shonaka asked Sutta Goswami. He said, "Tell us what the essence of all the scriptures is." Because the, the shastras are so many, so many books, and the big books. Not everybody wants to sit and read. The shastra is very rich, and it is a very big book. If we ask any of our Nepali ladies to sit and read the book, how long can they sit and read for? Because 
Okay, good. Try to read more. Now, this situation, when you're not, you're not working, you have more time to read every day. Of course, better than reading is better than reading is hearing and discussing. So you come and hear the classes. Rahugan Prabhu will be here, will be there in the temple giving class, and you come and hear the classes, and then you ask questions and discuss. That's very good. Better than reading. Lord Chaitanya gave a lot of importance to hearing. He liked devotees to hear from the hear from the pure devotees, hear from the senior Vaishnavas, and discuss. Lord Chaitanya would meet every day and have Bhagavatam class. Yeah, Lord Chaitanya, when he was in Jagannath Puri, he would go and hear Srimad Bhagavatam with Gadarhat Pandit, and then Swarup Damodar, Ramananda Rai, they would come and they would all sit and discuss together Srimad Bhagavatam. So the same way, all devotees there, Siak Bankek, come together every day, discuss Srimad Bhagavatam, taste the nectar. This is the real business of devotees. So, this year, of course, you won't have the, you know, like a program like we usually do for Janmashtami. Because of the lockdown, you have to be a little more careful. But those big festivals, they're not really for us. These big festivals are for, for the, the people who are not devotees. That they're the festivals which try to bring in new people. We put on those programs for them. We don't put on the big festivals for ourselves, because we have a festival every day. Every, every day, coming together, hearing, chanting, dancing, kirtan, worshipping the deities, it's a festival. Hmm. But sometimes we do find when you have a festival like Janmastami, you get a big crowd, you get a lot of people coming to the temple. Of course, this year also we could not have Ratiatra like we usually do because of the lockdown. 
But the chanting and dancing is going on. I'm sure every day in your temple you have chanting and dancing. So this is the Krishna conscious life. Devotee is not affected by the modes of nature. The material energy is affecting the whole world just now, but it doesn't, doesn't affect the devotee. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, a Vaishnava dies to live and living tries to spread the holy name around. Of course, we lost, we lost His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami this year. He departed from the uh, association. People say, oh, he made a mistake to go to America when America had so much coronavirus. So this was his mistake. But we don't see it like that. We see what happened, that it's the arrangement of Krishna, that Krishna took him out from this place to take him some other place for preaching, for engagement in Krishna's service. Yeah. He joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement in the same in the year Prabhupada departed from the world in nineteen seventy seven. He joined. I was in Kaukara. I was staying in Kaukara temple at the time when he was coming there. So then later on he decided, he went to Mayapur, he decided to become full-time devotee and he met Prabhupada. In those days there were not many Indian devotees, so he got introduced to Prabhupada and Prabhupada liked him. He saw he was quite nice educated man. He was fluent in Hindi, in Bengali and English. So he got initiation, he got first and second initiation at the same time. And then a couple of months later, Prabhupada gave him sannyas. So he'd only been in the movement a few months, but Prabhupada made him sannyasi. So, of course, Prabhupada departed from the world in November. 
So Bhakti Charu Swami, he was given the job to translate Prabhupada's books, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Chaitanya Charitamrita and Bhagavad Gita, to have them all translated into Bengali. So after he translated all the books, then he took up preaching and he went travelling everywhere. He went travel you know, people invited him different places. He went to Australia and Europe and America. He went to South Africa, he was many times in South Africa. And everywhere where there's an Indian community, the Indian community, they liked him very much. He was very popular. And of course, he also visited some countries in, in Europe, like Switzerland and France and Germany. And then he, he, he liked to travel, he would go everywhere, he loved to he, he liked because it gave him an opportunity for preaching, so he would travel everywhere. So while we were all locked down in Mayapur, he was still traveling and he took the, he traveled to America. And that was when he got the coronavirus and he, then he, he used that to depart from the world. For the devotee, devotees don't have any karma. Pure devotees, they're not under the law of karma. Krishna said, one who says sarva dharma pariyashna mami kam sharanam bhaja. Krishna says, one who gives up all material religion and surrenders to me, I free them from all sinful reactions. So certain, certainly a, dev, a, dev, a devotee like a devotee like Bhakti Chal what is this echo? Some echo, why is that in there? A devotee like Bhakti Charuswami certainly he does not have karma, and so in the party from the world we see it as the arrangement of Krishna. So now his his vapu Hare Krishna. 